Hey, 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 welcome back to ABTG, the only place on the internet where we try to figure out whether Space Jam, a new legacy, is absolute bullshit or complete trash. <laughs> <laughs> my god, I'm so mean. I'm so mean. It is in no way, let me get that out of the way, straight up, no way, true greatness. Space Jam, A New Legacy is the, I, I suppose, standalone sequel to the 90s classic Space Jam. If you guys aren't aware, I had never seen Space Jam as a kid, and so I rewatched it last year awaiting the arrival of this one and I've got a review on the channel you can go check that out uh, I actually quite enjoyed it and I know a lot of people online seem to be either not enjoying the movie as much as they did when they were younger or they just don't want to go back and revisit it in case it turns out trash but I had never seen it and I, I actually thought it was very good it, it is very good for what it tries to be and the standout of course is the quality of the animation more on that in that review which brings us to this one plot wise there's not that much to break down it's completely moronic uh, just as the first one was I guess but in this one it takes it it kind of kicks it up a notch and instead of talking about uh, like an alien uh, animated tune world that exists out there we we enter the server verse yes that's right uh, LeBron James's son in this film creates uh, a basketball video game and uh, he gets sucked into, I don't know, like the internet or what the movie calls the Warner Brothers serververse uh, where Don Cheadle is like the algorithm overlord and uh, they get into like a basketball game. I don't it It doesn't, it's stupid, it doesn't make sense and I feel like it makes less sense than in the original movie because the original movie at least you could just explain it off as it's aliens, whatever, doesn't need to make sense. This is just full of absolutely false techno babble and, and and hacker babble that we all know is obviously false. It was kind of weird. Enough about that though, because the plot isn't really why I went into this movie. Let's be honest. The the, the reason why I went into this movie is because of the animated characters interacting with the real world characters. That's the fun of it. That's the ridiculousness of the situation. And uh, that didn't really happen at any moment in the entire movie and I was very disappointed by that. Like there's one moment, no spoilers of course, but there's one single moment that I can remember where there's an actually 2D animated Bugs Bunny integrated into a live action scene and it's legit not as well done as when they did it in the original Space Jam. Bugs is walking on water on the footpath and he's walking through them and there's no interaction between his feet and the water and the lighting wasn't impeccable so yeah all of the rest is just green screen shit. <laughs> it's garbage. No the 2D animation is absolutely flawless honestly uh, and everything that happens in a completely 2D environment with completely 2D characters on screen is beautiful to watch it's beautiful to behold. The problem is we never have a live-action character interacting with these 2D elements it's always just 2D animation and then when we finally move on to when 2D and live-action could mix instead uh, the movie just turns everything into CG like the very rare elements that are actual live action they don't really contrast too much because I guess they are integrated into this CG fuckfest of green screen cinematography with uh, just CG models and CG renders of our favorite Looney Tunes characters it's such a bizarre thing so even though I wasn't expecting too much from the plot I was disappointed by it and the thing I did have high hopes for which was the general aesthetic and the visual design of the film is what really let me down too so what is there left for me to enjoy is it the millions of hundreds of thousands of trillions of Easter eggs in this movie? I'm not going to talk too much about that because everyone's already mentioned it. But yes, the movie is packed with references and Easter eggs to a million other different Warner Brothers HBO Max properties. It's it's better done than in Ready Player One, I think. But but it's also bizarre to have so many references that are only kind of references because when you have characters from other Warner Brothers properties in the movie, but it's not the actual actors, or they clearly look like cheap ass cosplays. It's kind of jarring. Oh my god. Also, this movie is clearly made for children, but then you have 
have like Austin Powers references, which no child would understand or has hopefully seen. So there's kind of a disconnect there. I guess the only things really left to talk about are the music that were fine, like the score and the songs that they chose worked effectively for the movie that it was, and the performances. I mean, the voice acting for all the animated characters is fantastic. Don, Don Cheadle, as good as he is an actor, I don't really think he brought his A-game on this thing. And I, I think it's mostly because the character that they gave him didn't suit him. I don't, I don't really buy him as a villain. Uh, LeBron James, I think, did a pretty good job. He's not an actor, or at least not like a, a seasoned actor. You can clearly sense that. But I think he carried the movie well enough. His voice acting when he was in animated form wasn't the best. Yes, I will agree. Like you could see him in the booth. I could visualize him in the booth trying to get those emotions out. And though it wasn't always flawless and you could you could hear that it was someone doing their best at acting, it, w it was good enough. And you know what? You know what? It adds a certain little... Uh, charm or a certain little um, likability that LeBron was so into it. I mean, overall, it's it's a big HBO Max advertisement, but putting that aside, it's just not that good of a movie. Okay, um, it's time to pull up the spectrum, the chart, the good old rating system. Is it absolute bullshit? No, it's not true greatness. I, uh, <sighs> god damn, it's pretty mediocre. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. What did you think of Space Jam, the original and uh, a new legacy? I'll see you next time. This song.